Congratulations. Thank you. Were you shocked when the president chose you to be the IGG? Did that surprise you? Yes, it did surprise me, absolutely. Because um, I had been appointed um, special senior presidential advisor on matters of land and uh, I graciously took that to be my 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 appointment and I thank actually I was in the process of uh, uh, writing an appreciation letter to the president to thank him for yet entrusting me with another uh, important office. Where are you going to start from in terms of fighting graft? Because you understand it's one of the biggest challenges that the, the current regime has been fighting for a long time. I will tell you what the president told the country. That the whole budget of this country is in the hands of three people. The cow, the peers, and the executive of uh, the various, uh, the chief executive of the various MDAs. So that is where it all rotates. How they manage public funds. Public funds are managed basically by those three offices. And that's what I would like to, um, that's where I would like to begin. And then I also want to know, how will you cushion yourself against interference? I have told you. You are covered by the constitution. You are covered by the laws that govern the office. Yeah, what normally happens is the president might not directly interfere with what you'll be doing, but there will be people below who are influential that might want to interfere with your work, especially trying to save the henchmen that may be. How do you intend to overcome that? It takes two to tango. It's not, not one person goes to the to the kid and takes man and runs away. There must be somebody who opens the door for someone to go and get the money. There must be somebody who keeps the books, who will try to ensure that the books are, 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 are ready for the Auditor General. There must be, it's a lot of uh, collusion. It's not a one-man thing. So once we rally the entire population, and I think that's where my strong point will be, to rally the entire population, including the public servants, to, to do this for Uganda. Looking at your predecessors, or the former IGGs, you know, some were, you know, have legal background, and then um, are you up to the task? Do you feel you're up to the task? Mr. God has prepared me for, for this job, but I think the president has also um, prepared me for the job because I have worked in government for five years now at the level of a minister. I was also a member of parliament. I was also head of an institution of government. So I pretty much know, and of course I'm well conversant or knowledgeable about the reports of the IGG, the reports of the Auditor General, the reports, you know, of Parliament, the public opinion out there. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I don't need to be a lawyer, but I'm well conversant with what needs to be done. And of course there will be technical people to do it. My job is only to put them together to make sure that they do what they're supposed to do. In the previous areas where you've worked, for example, the, the, the Uganda, the zoo, the Entebbe Zoo, mm -hmm. and it is said to be one of the best facilities that government has, mm -hmm. and in terms of management. Do you intend to transform that office called the Inspectorate of Government? Maybe I don't need to transform, just to enhance what is there, just to make sure that each institution is a governed according to the law that governs that institution. That's the point, that's the first um, function of the Inspectorate of Government, to promote the rule of law 
and to ensure that every institutional gov government is governed according to the law that was put there to govern it. And if we need to amend the law or create another law to enhance its gov governance, then it will be my responsibility to advise um, cabinet or the right minister. You are coming at a time when there are several other investigating institutions. You have police that is investigating. You have IGG that is investigating. You have an anti-corruption unit from State House. How will you fit in? I think there is enough space for all those institutions to, to work together. And I think maybe, I don't know whether that has been there, but what we shall need to do if it hasn't been done is also to reach out to, uh, to other institutions with similar mandate to ensure that we, um, we, we, we pull all our resources because we have one goal. I would like to understand how will you balance between serving in the interest of the public vis-a-vis the interest of your employer. But they are not in conflict. The interest of my employer is not in conflict with the interest of the public. What is your message to the big fish and the corrupt? In Uganda, they say Mwetereze. If I speak in Uganda, Mwetereze. Because in English, get your houses in order. Days of corruption in Uganda are numbered and don't fall with those who will fall but rise with those who will rise as crusaders against corruption thank you so much for the time thank you i appreciate, I appreciate. and all the best yeah what is In Uganda, they say Mwetereze. If I speak in Uganda, Mwetereze. Because in English, get your houses in order.